Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Michael Wilson. I uh, live in Gunnedah, New South Wales, Australia. Uh, I've been c competing in, in camp drafting since I was 12, which is a long time. Um, I, I'm an open judge here in Australia. We uh, compete in, in quite a few camp drafts. Uh, we, we breed our own camp draft horses and we actually even, even stand stallions at stud to breed camp draft horses. It's a, a very big industry. It's a great industry because the whole family's involved. From, from, from kids right through to uh, older people. It's been a great sport for us as a family and as a competitor, the bar keeps getting higher and, and we need to com compete better every year. It's a fantastic sport. It's unique to Australia. Um, you start off by cutting a cow out in the pen um, or what we call the camp. Um, you select the beast. Uh, if, if you can bring him up close to the front of that that camp and working at least three to four turns um, is great. It's out of a, a point score system of 26 in the camp. Um, so you can you can bring your cow up and, and, and work him really close to the front and get very high points. Um, or you can drop a cow that's um, back back way back in the yard or to the cattle. You'll be deducted for that. And if it happens again, so a second drop back, you'll be eliminated and the judge will crack the whip and your run will be terminated at that point. Um, as a judge, if, if I'm, I'm judging horses in the camp, I like, like people to come through those cattle nice and calmly, not, not to uh, affect the other cattle and knock cattle about. Bring them up the front. I like, like the horse to be very intent on the cow. Um, very similar to cutting, only in cutting you have four people helping you. Uh, in camp drafting you have to make all the moves and move the cow yourself. Therefore it, it's a very individual sport. Um, again, you need to hit those stops. Your horse has to show interest in the cow, has to be in sync with the cow and, and go exactly where that cow does. Mirror image similar to a cutting, only with more pressure. Um, if I was to find it a little towards cutting, Cutting it is more defensive, uh, camp drafting, cutting out is, is, is more attack. When, uh, when you decide to come out of that yard, you call the gate. At that moment, those gate people will listen to you and open the gate. The judge will give you a camp score. Uh, then he'll look at your horse competing outside and give you an outside score. Now those scores will be for the first peg, you may go left or right for your first peg, whatever the system is on that particular day. Uh, it will be two, pe uh, two points for that first peg, and one point for the second peg, and one point for what we call the gate, the two pegs up at the, the top end of the arena that you bring that beast back through. You'll be judged out of um, 70 points for um, what, what's called horsework, um, how close and how neat and how fast you can get around those, those pegs um, and again from a judge's point of view I'd look for that horse that, that's very controllable, um, not raising his head and fighting the bit, a horse that's happy to chase cattle, to get up in a nice little zone around that cow and, and, and put him where you want, nice and tight to those pegs and, and do it in a nice controlled manner without knocking cattle about and doing it in a good manner. Um, and, and you will judge, judge those points as, as they arise. For me as a judge, I, I like to, everyone that comes out of that gate will be sitting on, on a 60 for horsework and then I will add or deduct on every peg as that, as that person goes around. But that's just the way I judge. Um, it's an individual sort of thing, but, but really there's boundaries and for those horses that, that go calmly and correctly, neat and fast and are well in control, they're the horses that get the maximum points.